Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derber with my wife, Alberta Derber, and we are just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's Word once again. Luke 1 37 says, With God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing. We pastor Faith Victory Church right here in the capital city of Frankfort, Kentucky, and we're just delighted to be on WFBN daily, <laughs> daily, every day, seven days a week. How crazy the Lord. is that? It's wonderful. Wonderful, crazy. Yeah. And hope you've been enjoying these testimonies of our uh, church family here. Uh, you know, uh, living proof that Jesus is alive when somebody testifies about the transformation, the change of that new creation reality. Alberta, how are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. Excellent. It's a miracle day. It is. It is. Today is day of miracles for us. Yeah. And, and anybody else that wants anybody to, else want to grab a hold of that. Wants to jump on it. That's right. <laughs> right? Yes. Well, uh, we serve a miracle working God. And I'm looking at a miracle. You got it. You're looking at a miracle. You got it. Right? Nobody really knows. <laughs> Especially you. I mean, I, I was, I was crazy, but because of drugs and all that. Well, you too, but... You didn't get into I mean, the crime were, and stuff. No, and and even when I met you, you were so... Um, you, you looked like this cute little boy that was so nasty. I mean, you no, were... No, I was kind and loving. Joe, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you were... Well, that's what Jesus does when, oh when somebody God. when somebody comes to the oh Lord. Oh, my. And, you know, that was 1988. You got you made a vow, got saved, made a vow. And I got Three days later, I got saved, heard God's audible voice. We're thankful for Robert Tilton Ministries. Thank you, Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Teaching on the vow. You know, as I'm doing these testimonies, Alberta, it is astounding. I'm not even asking our kids about the vow and and they, it. It, it comes up repeatedly and uh, it just does that's who we are I mean yeah. that's who we are right right that's what brought us into the kingdom well that's what had God it, talk to you audibly it's the vow of faith. faith that's it faith because I've seen people make a vow and there wasn't no faith in it you know and, like playing a lottery yeah just gambling you know yeah Oh, well, I'll try, I'll, try, I'll try this. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll try this. But I uh, want to talk about faith this week. Oh, good. I want to talk subject. about faith. And so uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, uh, read verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Now, this is, this is, this is so powerful. Uh, we walk by when it says walk, it's not talking about just taking step after step after step. We walk by faith and not by sight. In other words, it's saying we walk by what God's Word says, not by what our information gates are telling us, our eyes and ears prim primarily, right? And so... Uh, how do we do this? How do we walk? How do we live by faith and not by our natural, uh, the natural information that's coming in? Well, the only way you can do that is faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So there ha you have to get in God's Word and glean more information mm -hmm. from what God has said than the information that you're looking at or you're hearing. Mm -hmm. For instance, you get a doctor's report and they're telling you six months to live. Well, uh, they're pretty accurate with that through statistics, right? And they can, they can run their test on you and see how that cancer or whatever it is, that heart disease, whatever it is, is rapidly moving through your body. And they're giving you a, a natural report. Yeah. So That's all they know. to turn that report around, 
uh, because that can be overwhelming. That can take the wind out of somebody. That can be like that does that that they say that they hear the big C word. It's hearing that big C word that kills them, really. Mm. But we have the big C word, Christ. You know, I mean, it's yeah. Well, but, but it does. But, I but mean, how how you have victory in that? How you overcome that? When I had, uh, you know. Uh, that uh, cancer, uh, looking for the word, what was it? Pan- pancreatic cancer? Pancreas. Pancreas cancer? Yeah. Oh, I uh, thought it was prostrate. prostrate. Yeah. That's the That's word I'm I looking thought. for. But I don't remember that. I couldn't one. remember it there for a moment. Prostrate. Uh, That's you how far it is. Fear, fear oh. try, for trying to grip me. That's what happens. And what I did was. I already knew that the Bible said by a stripes to heal. I'd already been healed by God, Multiple right? Times. But what had happened in the past and what I knew that book said in the past was not going to carry me other than the experience of knowing was not going to uh, carry me through this that one. Right there, right? I got to bring information in mm-hmm. and the same information. Same you know, by his stripes I'm healed. He it. bore all my sicknesses, carried all my Set diseases. He became a curse, redeemed me from the curse. Yeah, Son of righteousness arises with healing in his wings. He's the all Lord my God. That, the midst of us. He's the Lord my God that heals me and so on and so on forth. And on and on right? And on. Same word. What are you doing? Same power. You're walking by faith. There you go. Not by sight. Exactly. Even though the pain persists. Even though the symptoms, oh, it'll get worse. <laughs> symptoms, yeah, get worse, right? Well, you just keep bringing in information of God's word into us. Now, th- now, now, let's back up to chapter four and read verse eighteen, Alberta. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now this this is this verse comes before we walk by faith, not by sight. And so God says, right here, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Mm-hmm. Now I say this a lot. If God tells us to look at things that are not seen. He would be unrighteous for us not to be able to see the unseen. Thank you. That's good. So yeah. there is a way that we can see past the seen mm-hmm. that the unseen becomes more real mm-hmm. than the seen. Absolutely. Shoo. Thank you, Lord. And the only way that happens is by the Word of God. That's it. Oh, that's Words it. create pictures. 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 Words are containers. Yeah. When, and what happens is as you start taking in the truths of God's Word, information, information, information. Like when I had that prostate cancer, I kept bringing in information, information, even though the symptoms seemed to be going south, seemed to be getting worse. <laughs> I kept bringing in information, yeah. and w- instead of instead of knowing, just knowing that the Bible says healing is the children's bread, I begin to see past the symptoms and see myself whole. Come on. Now, uh, you know, when did that happen? Probably. Uh, five or six weeks into it, right? Once I recognized what was going on. And uh, it probably took another uh, that long before I woke up and it was totally gone, totally gone. But I was seeing myself totally with all that totally gone. And that was more real to me than the symptoms that were temporal. Exactly. They were temporary, subject to change. But you had this working in you. Every day. Every day. But see, and even before you had that 
that um, attack. Attack. This was in you. Yeah. See. Yeah. Preventive medicine. Yeah. You know, taking your vitamins every day. Yeah. That was in you. I mean, so many people try. They get a, a evil report, and immediately they start looking up scriptures and or asking you for scripture. Well, God, God and, can move in that. Yes. But it's it's better like like. We were talking to the partners earlier this week about preparation. Right, exactly. Right, being yes. prepared. Yes. Well, it says, while we look not at the things which are seen. Oh, it's beautiful. But at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. Temper. Temporal. Everything. Subject to change. Alberta, everything, the, the chair you're sitting on, the clothes you're wearing, uh, this whole studio set up. Everything is temporary. Everything, none of this is going to be eternal. None of it. It's all going to get burned up in the end, right? Yeah. New heavens, new earth, Ooh. right? New wardrobe. <laughs> Every day, new clothes. Glorified body. Every day, just oh wow. throw those clothes away. But, Yay! Well, here, here, here's the truth. We are born again into the kingdom of his dear son. Yes. Oh, my. That kingdom is unseen. Mm -hmm. You can't see it. Unless God opens your eyes. You know, he's opened my eyes a, a few times in, in, in years, and I've, I've seen, you know, I've seen angels and things like that. And, you know, I don't build a doctrine out of it, but mm -hmm. it was just those times when, when uh, you know, God took me to heaven yeah. in 96 and so on and so forth. Uh but the evidence that Jesus is real and his kingdom is real is because I'm a changed person and I see different. Exactly. Exactly. You know, people say, well, I got to have something tangible. I got to see Ooh, I got to see God, you I know. Got it. I told God, and, I, and and unless you show yourself to me, I will not believe. Well, that's what that's so how what, Thomas said. That. That's what Thomas did. That's exactly what Thomas did, and 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 uh, uh, you know, Jesus eventually did show himself to Thomas. Yeah, I always I always felt for Thomas because I believe what he was saying is they all saw him. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't there when he walked through. Mm -hmm. and it's like, hey, you know, how about me? You mm -hmm. know, I, I don't think he said that to be, you know, arrogant. I don't think well, so. Still Jesus, God, still Jesus yeah. came and said, yeah. you know, hey, you, you believe now that you've seen? Yeah. Blessed are those that's that have it. not seen and yet believe. Yeah, that's us. Right? Yeah. And so there's a power, faith Faith doesn't have to see mm -hmm. uh, the natural change before they act on what God has said. The natural will change absolutely. as oh, absolutely. the action is applied. Words, actions, gifts, right? And so when uh, we face different obstacles, different if you allow it, bumps in the road that, that you know, the uh, the enemy will try to lay Challenge, a trap yeah. here. and Challenges. And, uh, well, those are God challenges the devil opposes. Okay. And, opposition. Yeah. And that opposition yeah. comes and, uh, you know, you just got to uh, buckle up your belt and say, all right, this looks like a job for faith. Mm -hmm. This is a victory that overcomes the world. Yeah. Even our faith, yeah. right? Yes. And so uh, your your eyes can deceive you. <laughs> now, now listen to this. I, I, me. I wanted to be a magician and one of my, you know, I wanted to be a secret agent man. I want to be a baseball player, FBI, all this stuff, <laughs> you know, as a kid. But I got into uh, card tricks. I got into, I mean, I could, I could, I could take a, a deck of cards still to this day and mesmerize a group of people. You know, we were, we were in the RV coming back from a concert, and uh, all of us were playing. I, I don't know what we were playing. What were we playing? Rook. We were playing Rook. 
and uh, I started showing the guys card tricks, right? And uh, still remember them still. But see, it's not a trick to me. How, how did you do that? I, that's the whole thing. It's sleight of hand. You know, now, uh, years ago, uh, on YouTube, they had the unmasking of the magicians, and the magicians got really upset with because the, the magicians, as, as they grow up and graduate in their magic, they're, sp they're sworn not to reveal their secrets. And uh, one of the magicians went, blew the whistle, and started showing uh, how the tricks were done. Wow. Right? And just exposing, uh, you know, how does a sword go through their stomach? And, really? and, and you know, how do they swallow fire? And, and uh, you know, how did that disappear and, and reappear over here? And all this stuff. And it's all sleight of hands, mirrors, cables. You know, once you see how they do it, it's like, well, but see, your eyes, when your eyes looked at it, your eyes were like, what's the deal? You know, you uh, watching a sports game, you can, and the referee makes a call, and for instance, baseball, and uh, he calls them safe at first base, and then they do the replay, and they do it in slow motion. You can see. You can see. Or a horse race. You can see. I remember we were at uh, your friend's house there in Pennsylvania. He had that uh, uh, fishing pond in his backyard. <laughs> and I had just gotten That's this uh, camera, this JVC camera <laughs> that was, uh, you know, the top of the line back in the day. And he said, he said, Philip, he said, he said, I'm going to. Uh, he named his out. fish. Yeah, he named his in fish. The pond. And, and he would tell me. Big fish. Uh, he said, I got one fish in here, one-eyed Jack. Yeah. And <laughs> and he, he'd say, hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. He'd hold, he'd hold a minnow. And all of a sudden, this one fish with one eye would, would, would swim Come up right there. up. And listen now, Bertie. That minnow would be in his hand about six inches above the water. And all of a sudden, it was gone. You'd see a splash, and it was gone. Right? But I got the camera going on in there. Slow motion. And, you know, we went inside, and I played it back in slow motion. You could see that fish come out of that water and grab that minnow and go back in, but the eye couldn't catch it. It so happened. Fast. It happened so fast, all you saw was just a blur. Uh -huh. So why are we going to trust our eyes and ears? Have you ever, me and you, as, 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 much, as well as we know each other, uh, you've said things to me. Before and then, and then two or three days later, you'll say something like, how, "Philip, how come this uh, ain't done, or how come you didn't do this?" You know, and and, and I'm like, what are you talking about? I told you, and I heard something else. The communication. Well, how about uh, just a couple of weeks ago? I thought I was seeing an animal on that little yeah. island. Yeah. I mean, I saw it move. I saw it leave, go back. Order, order binoculars. Got a pair of binoculars, and before we got, it, I thought something's not right because that hasn't moved. <laughs> it was a log. It was a log. Or, the, or across the street. All of a sudden, I'm seeing. I looked across the street out front of our house, and there was this long thing. It looked like some kind of animal laying long. Uh, at our neighbor across the street in his driveway. Mm -hmm. And I kept looking at that, and then it would move and it would go on to the lawn. And I kept, at like two days, and I'm like, what is this thing? I finally walked over there. It was a shadow, a shadow of their basketball goal. As the sun would move, I mean, here, I'm thinking it two times it's an animal, and it was a shadow, and I said, boy, when when I guy. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, uh, Can't go by at, what at we mom see. and daddy's house uh, when in summertime, you know, as kids uh, we'd play outside we'd play till after dark we had a street light that uh, was right there by our house and then we had the back porch light 
that we turn on, and, and you know, and that was it. That's what you're playing with. Alberta, I run, I run all over the, those yards. But at nighttime, when you went around the side yard, it looked like it was an endless oh, yeah. pit. Now I've been playing there, running there, but I, I'd, I'd, I'd run, I'd stop, and I'd take my foot. And just yeah. just check it out, right? Yeah. Because wow. that's 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 the that's the and we thank God for our eyesight. But we we got three yeah, sets of it. eyes. Mm. And we got our physical eyes, we got the eyes of understanding, and we got our faith eyes, mm. our spirit eyes. Oh boy, you treat And when you that. see when you see it right here, when you see yourself healed right here, when you see yourself in that car right here. When you see yourself debt-free right here, not knowing that the Bible just says that and you're quoting that, but you've taken in enough of the information that now, no matter what the bill says, right here. no matter, no matter that, that the car you're driving right now that's being held together by faith. <laughs> Bumper stickers. Right? You're not moved by that. No, you, you walk by faith, not by faith. Sight, knowing, knowing that change is inevitable. Yeah. Knowing that manifestation is in the process. Miracles in the making, yes. Lord told me a, a, a few days ago. Yes. So uh, learning to do this, mm -hmm. learning not to trust uh, in the natural and we thank God for doctors. We thank God for, uh, you know, straight up uh, facts, you know. But uh, when push comes to shove, and uh, you know you're 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 facing something that it, it is life altering or maybe even life ending, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> this this is a job for faith. Excuse me. Neither one of us would be here. Get here. <clears throat> You've got that right. If it hadn't been for what we discovered in this word okay. and applied it. Yeah. See. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. Those of you, those of you that are watching, uh, I want to encourage you today. You can do this. You can do <clears throat> this. You find. You Jesus. find out. Uh, whatever your situation may be, if it's if it's physical, if it's yeah. financial. If it's a if it's a marriage, Excuse if me. it's it's your children, you know, starting up a business or <coughs> employment or transportation or housing, whatever it may be, you get in the Word of God, and and well, this just come to me. You let the Word of God <coughs> drown out the natural, <coughs> drown it out. <coughs> let it let it overwhelm. The situation. The writer, the writer, in, in yeah, go ahead. The writer, the writer in in, in uh, Romans, Paul said, "I know whom I have believed in, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day." I know whom I have believed in. Something got settled. Abraham being fully persuaded that what God had promised him, he was able also to perform. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Now listen, your, your situation is not hopeless. Your, this is the year of the turnaround. You get in God's word, you find out the promises of God concerning your situation, and then you just you just overindulge, if you will, overindulge yourself in that. Meditate those scriptures. Meditate it. You know, this morning, uh, uh, early this morning, uh, uh, God took me to a particular passage of scripture, and I one verse. I just sat there and meditated it. Meditate, and all of a sudden, it just started to blossom. It started to just get really big inside of me, and uh, can't wait for uh, God to release me uh, to release that. But 
uh, down at the bottom of the screen, there's our helpline. It's there for you. We got ministers standing by 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call that number. And also our uh, website, faithvictorychurch.us. You go on there, and the 100 books we were talking about, uh, they're on the, in the bookstore. The music's there, and uh, all kinds of messages are on there. The healing revival's on there. It just, just, just all kinds of things that will cause you to get past what you are seeing and get to what you are believing. Amen. That's a good word. We're going to be we're going to be teaching that uh, all this week here on Power of Faith on WFBN, and uh, we want to know where you're watching this from. So uh, give us a shout. You can do that 502-875-7886 or our email help h e l p at faithvictorychurch.us. Please ask these eight verse four says where the word of a king is, there is power. Be a blessing. Awake to Righteousness with a daily devotional by Drs. Philip and Alberta Derber. In this powerful devotional, you'll learn the different aspects of the righteousness or right standing that Jesus has provided. Get the reality of what Jesus has done deep down inside of you to the point that every day, you awake to righteousness. Awake to Righteousness includes 365 daily devotions accompanied by a master key verse and a scriptural meditation for every day of the year. Get your Awake to Righteousness devotional today. You can order online at our website or give us a call at 502-875-7886.